Good to see you friends. My name is Robbie Howell. I am a game designer specializing in diceless storytelling games, and I'm about ready to do some improvised world building. If you're not sure what this process is all about, check out my video on my approach and philosophy to improvised world building. And let's jump right in to the parameters of our gen today. Okay, so I have decided that the topic for today is going to be a ruin. I want to create a ruin, some sort of setting, terrain, etc., that has been unoccupied by civilization for a very long time, having once been in some way connected to it. That's going to be 10 minute timer. As per last time, we're going to be doing five focus words, which we will be generating now. Smart, game, run, gun, convene. <laughs> That's fun. Run and gun is a fairly prevalent genre, or at least it was back in the, the arcade days. All right, that's gonna be the set of words that we're gonna be going off of. 10 minute timer is going to be starting now. All right, let's begin with a bit of free association. When I see these words, what do I come to? Okay, well, smart game run gun could be, well, run and gun obviously is a big one right, out the, right, right off the bat. Uh, run and guns are uh, again, a video game genre, and they're typically characterized by a more modern setting. Uh, convene. So that tells me like, a, well, convene makes me think of like a conference hall or like political, like a, a political building, like a capital building of some kind. Maybe we can go in a different direction. Maybe it's like an arcade. I like that, um, especially because game, run, gun, yeah. Um, arcade and smart. Well, convene, again, adds to that as well. Um, I like the arcade theme a lot so far. I mean, there's obviously the trope of like, you know, oh, nerds coming and convening at the arcade, but I think that we can do something a little more fun than that with smart. I'm gonna come back to that. At the very least, I feel like I feel like the arcade is a good enough hook that I want to start going off of it and going into a couple of specific categories, right? Well, if this is an arcade, obviously that can add some more modern setting. So either we're in the future or maybe we're in like some sort of post-apocalyptic thing. That could be fun. Um, let's go with... I like the idea, something, on, something in me is saying it will be cooler if it's very old. I think we're going to say somewhere in the range of like 100 to 200 years. All right. Whenever I think of arcades for some reason, I always think of them on a dock or like on a pier. I have no idea why I have that association though. Convene. Well, that actually gets to something as well. When rivers converge, especially multiple rivers, it's called a confluence, which is a word I happen to love and also kind of reminds me of convening. So maybe like we could talk about like river piers uh, at a confluence of some kind. Uh, which would indicate that the current population could be things like um, uh, boatmen, like, you know, like not the sort of boatmen you want to associate with, um, river critters, uh, maybe like a, a local cryptid of some kind. That actually could be really fun. Man, smart is really screwing me right now. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that. Okay, I don't want to do something gimmicky. I don't want to go with something like, oh, you know, it makes you smart when you play the games. That just seems very uninteresting to me. And also, uh, an arcade can be all sorts of things. It doesn't have to be computer games, of course. It could be... Um, Oh, it could be like one of those old Barnum and Bailey style arcades that had all of the the like live the live games, like you know the BB guns and the the, the hoop tosses. BB guns. Okay, game, run gun. Mm, okay. Uh, what if this? What if we got really dark here, and we made this a like a, a blood sport? arcade um uh like a like a sh like a like a shooting games and similar targeting people hmm well that's very grim 
But it does mean that the downfall section is very easy to, to solve because we can say uh, uprisings slash um, like a vengeful vandalism. And then the previous population, what's our time? We're at four minutes, 19 seconds. So that would mean that the previous population would be uh, victims ready uh, for, for slaughter. Plus, again, smart. Where What is smart about this? <laughs> Nothing <laughs> smart about this. Maybe I could do something like, maybe it's eugenic. Or like, um, uh, that could actually do the trick. Maybe it could be like a like a like some awful culling thing, um, uh, culling of the unintelligent slash unworthy within this society, um, and it could be like done by uh, proteges in military slash brainwashing. Um, maybe not even military. Maybe like uh, maybe like. Uh, young elites, you know, so that way we have a bit of a class struggle in there. It's a little, a little Hunger Games for my liking, but it also hits kind of an interesting, like, um, something about the rivers and the boatmen, plus the kind of, again, Barnum and Bailey sort of aesthetic makes me feel like it, it could also almost be considered like Fallout-ish, but with more of a, um, turn of the 1900s uh, Midwest aesthetic, which could actually be kind of interesting. Man, I've kind of backed myself in a corner here because there's a couple of really interesting setup there's like a, a i think that my setup here is good but it's i'm having a hard time rounding the corner here like i think i have a decent skeleton but i, I just don't it's this freaking mm, you bastard it's not i'm having a lot of trouble bringing smart into the equation We're close to something here. There's some there's some aspects of this that I really really like. Is there anything else I can jump on there? Um, well, man, our, oh, and there is our timer. All right, well, pencils down, class. We're gonna have to be content with this one. This really was a tough one. I'm not fully pleased with what I came to here. There's definitely a couple of of threads that are just completely missing. Aspects of it I really like. I think that it's tempting to make it into some purely horrific um, just nest of evil, but I think it would be more interesting if we made more of a reason for this place to exist beyond just blatant cruelty and evil. So at this point, I'm going to see if I can find a couple of images that I think might lightly represent this location as a way of like setting the stage. Let's see what I can find here. Okay, I think I've put together a collection of images that at least somewhat convey what I'm going for here. Let me give you a little tour through them. First of all, I have this lovely, creepy, abandoned uh, warehouse of some kind. It looked like an older design to me, kind of in the time period that I was looking for, since I decided to go with more of a kind of classic Americana feel. And I like this being kind of an idea of what the exterior might look like, though I, I could envision a little more woods around. Moving on, I found a couple of images that I think kind of capture what the interior of the galleries could look like. These kind of terrifying mannequin setups that are still rife with the props that were used previously. Right now the mannequins are kind of a stand-in for what would have been people, but it could be quite interesting if in the ruins, uh, they it was just clothing or mannequins left over, just to add a bit of fear factor to it. Could be a contrivance by those boatmen I was discussing earlier too, as a way of kind of keeping people out. I also happened upon this interesting image of a, of a young man and his father, the young man pointing a gun towards the camera. I kind of envisioned this being the, the quintessential image 
of this particular arcade before its downfall. The image of a, of a, of a young man aiming his gun barrel uh, down towards some hapless victim. Additionally, while I was finding this image, I realized, duh, that smart can mean well-dressed. So obvious, and I completely missed it, but that's our link to bring smart into the equation, as well as gives a little bit more um, credence to the elites versus uh, versus commoners sort of theme that this that this build has got going on here. And lastly, I did find this rather terrifying shooting dummy. I could totally envision them having been forced to wear masks of some kind and having some of these masks and memorabilia kind of littered around the ruins. For all of these images, I have linked their credit. Uh, you can check out the doc in the description below if you want to see the full details of the build as well as see where I got the images from. Given my chosen topic and the unusual assortment of words I randomed, what would you have done with this build? Would you have taken it in a completely different direction? What sorts of unusual ideas came to your mind when you first saw the focus words appear on screen? I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I'd love to see if you're willing to share some of your build ideas in the comments below. As always, my name has been Robbie Howell, and ciao for now.